Safer Internet Day in the UK is run by the UK Safe Internet Centre and is celebrated all across the world. Last year, 1,645 organisations were involved on the day and it is hoped that this year will be even bigger. The theme for this year is Create, Connect and Share Respect. A better internet starts with you. The internet has transformed the way we communicate and connect with each other and this assembly will focus on how this has impacted our digital well-being and our relationships. As we go through, I want you to think about you personally and as a part of a wider online community can do to create positive digital well-being for all. There are so many ways we can connect with each other through the internet and this affects our digital well-being and our relationships. How do you like to connect with your friends? Why might some choose to chat online with someone rather than to their face? Why might someone choose to talk face to face instead of online? Is online communication easier, better, more effective, lazy, all of these? Connecting with people and going online has become such a key part of our lives that some people even argue that access to the internet should be regarded as a human right or our most basic need. Technology allows us to reach out for support, to share our lives with others, track and measure the steps we have taken every day, but it's also led to people feeling not good enough, not as important or not as attractive as others. How does going online make us feel? Connected, empowered, supported, inspired, entertained, informed, important, alive, normal, inferior, inadequate, lonely, Digital well-being is about how happy and comfortable we feel when we're online. These feelings can change over time or from one minute to the next. Since the online world is such a huge part of our lives today, it's important that we understand and reflect on how this can impact on how we feel. Healthy relationships are connections we have with other people that are respectful, positive and equal. That means being listened to and listening to others. That means feeling supported and helping others. That means being able to do what you want and being able to compromise or do what somebody else wants to do. It is important that we enjoy the interactions we have online and many of these relationships are enhanced with technology like cam chat with friends or family or liking someone's new profile picture. Whilst these apps and devices allow us to connect with our friends and family Developing and maintaining healthy relationships can be tricky online. Nice comments can be misinterpreted as jokes. When you see someone face to face, it is much easier to see if they are joking or if they are actually upset. A friend may be really busy and not reply to you as quickly as you would like. When you see photos online of people having a great time, you can't be sure if it's a true reflection or just a small snapshot. You might have lots of messages to reply to, or hardly any. Whilst technology has brought many people together, there are also concerns that the use of smartphones and social media is making young people unhappy and unhealthy. Some people could be left out. Keeping everybody happy online can mean you forget about yourself. If people only share the best parts of their lives online, it can make people feel like their lives aren't very interesting. How do you feel about these headlines? Do you agree or disagree? Why? So what are people doing about this? Are there people going online and making a difference? The answer is yes. People are challenging the ideas of beauty that are seen online and helping people to feel good about the way they look. People are encouraging us to be more open about our mental health and our well-being. People are celebrating difference and helping those who feel marginalised online. People are going online to raise awareness of important issues that they think we are not hearing enough about. I hope that these ideas have helped inspire you to think about what you could do to look after your own digital well-being and to help others. The internet can be an amazing place, but it is important that we use it in a positive way. If you were going to run a campaign, what is the key message you would like to get out to young people about their digital well-being? How can you look after your own digital well-being 
so that you enjoy going online. How can you help others to improve their digital well-being? Here are some other things you can do to look after your own digital well-being and help others. I will talk to someone if I am feeling down about going online. Be honest with yourself and the people around you. If you are feeling upset about something that has happened online, there are lots of places you can get advice and support. Your parents, your teachers at school and helplines such as Childline and Young Minds. I will connect with respect and report people who do not. Be kind online, even if you do not agree with what somebody else says or does. You can still engage with them in a positive and respectful way. I will share positive messages. There are lots of really inspiring people out there online. Share their messages and create some of your own too. I will think critically when I go online. Look carefully at the information you see online. Is that story true? Can I trust that person? Is that product really as good as the advert says it is? I would encourage you to lead by example in the way you conduct yourself online. What does that mean? Talking about how you're feeling. It can be difficult to talk about it, but we all have good and bad days online. If you can do this, it shows others that it's okay to talk about their feelings too. If you see people being disrespectful online, then report them. And if it is people that you know, talk to them about it. Encourage people to stay calm and kind. If you see someone or think someone is having a hard time online, chat to them about it and then highlight places they can go for more advice and support. One kind comment can brighten somebody's day. If you know them, a hug is always a good idea. And if you think of ways that the internet could be better, then tell people about it. Contact companies if you think that they aren't doing enough to keep people safe. If you spot fake and misleading stories, then make people aware of them. Teach others how to spot them and point them in the direction of fairer and more accurate reports. Be honest with your friends and family. You might want to be alone or play a game for a while, but there are other times when you would rather meet up and chat face to face. Promote the great things that you are doing away from technology. The internet is just a series of cables and connections. It is how we use it as humans that is the key. Look after your digital well-being and look out for others too. A better internet starts with you.